Today is going to be trains, folks. We're down in New Freedom, PA, and we're going to do a train ride from New Freedom, which is just north of Baltimore, into Glen Rock, Pennsylvania, and back. I'm told it's about an hour ride, so come along and let's see what kind of photos we can find. Today we're going to ride five miles from New Freedom to Glen Rock. We'll stop in Glen Rock, have some passengers to discharge, and uh, we'll reset the brakes and come right back uh, south again. So I tell him how far we are and what we're doing and going from there. So I'm pretty much the eyes and the ears of the train right now. We are good for another five. Is that right? And then I opened up the back. A spring. Yeah, and I showed them all the back. Yeah. So, I mean. Pennsylvania Railroad logo with the name Pennsylvania. There's a picture in there. Let's get it. When I walk up here, the first thing I see is plastic cups in the window. I think they're plastic cups. I don't want those in my final shot, so maybe this will be a Photoshop situation. Blue and gray Model T Ford Club out of Hagerstown, Maryland. And how many do you have here today? We have six Best. cars total. We have four Model Ts, a Model A, and then we also have a Singer. 23 Touring. 23 Touring. And it runs to boot. I bet, it, uh, <laughs> I bet you did the engine. Shot here. Uh, it's like the symmetry. Show this here, Nance, of the, the, of the wall. Of the I like the, the headshots that are in the background, but the table and the chairs frame and everything just makes a, a nice picture. Purposely, I am breaking the law of the rule of thirds. I'm putting the horizontal lines right in the middle, intentionally. So you got to know the rule of third law in order to break the rule of third law. So that's the, I see another picture. I'm on a roll here. See the green shrubs, the green bush in front of the steps. 
There's a picture right there with all that red behind the green. Let's see if we can get. The key here is depth. When you go to a wide angle lens, you get shallower compression. When you go, when you use more of a telephoto lens, you compress more of the image in, into one one plane. So you have to experiment back and forth with different lenses to see which works best for the image. I have cars in the parking lot back here and I don't want those in my image so somehow I'm going to have to get them out of the picture. <laughs> 